the tale of Uzo and his 25 wives. Once upon a time, in a small village in Africa, lived a man named Uzo. Uzo was a handsome man with strong muscles and kind heart. He was known far and wide for his charm and good look. But Uzo had one problem. He wanted everything to be perfect. He wanted his life to be perfect and he wanted his wife to be perfect as well. One sunny morning, Uzo woke up with a big idea. He decided it was time to find the perfect wife. I want the best wife in the whole world, Uzo said to himself. I will travel far and wide to find her. So, Uzo packed his bag, said goodbye to his family, and set out on a long journey. He walked through forests, climbed over mountains, and crossed rivers. He visited many villages and met many beautiful women. But Uzo always found something wrong. One woman was too tall, another was too short, one was too loud, another was too quiet. Ooh, Uzo was never satisfied. After many days, Uzo came to a village where he met a woman named Ada. Ada was very beautiful with a sweet smile and a kind heart. Uzo thought she might be the perfect wife. So he married Ada and took her home. For a while, Uzo was happy. But soon, he began to notice little things about Ada that he didn't like. She didn't cook his favorite meals and she didn't laugh at his jokes. I need a better wife, Uzo said. So he went back on his journey. In another village, he met a woman named Bola. Bola was smart and funny. Uzo thought she might be the perfect wife. So he married Bola and took her home. Now, Uzo had two wives, but was still not happy. As time passed, Uzo married more and more women. He met and married Choma, Dada, Edine, Fatima, and many others. Each time, Uzo thought he had found the perfect wife, but each time he found something wrong. He married 25 wives and sent one off even before she got home. But he was still not satisfied. One day, Uzo heard about a woman named Amaka. People said she was the most beautiful and perfect woman in the whole world. Uzo's eyes sparkled with hope. Maybe Amaka is the perfect wife I've been looking for, he thought. Uzo traveled to Amaka's village and saw her. She was indeed very beautiful, with eyes bright and lovely. Uzo fell in love with her at first sight. Immediately, he asked Amaka to marry him. As she said yes, Uzo was very happy. He took Amaka home and introduced her to his 24 wives. This is Amaka, he said. She's my last wife. She is perfect. For a while, everything seemed so perfect. Amaka was kind and gentle. She cooked delicious meals and sang beautiful songs. Uzo thought he had finally found the perfect wife. But soon, strange things began to happen. At night, Uzo heard whispers 
and saw shadows moving in the house. The other wives started to fall ill one by one. They felt weak and scared. They told over that Amaka was not an ordinary woman. She's a ghost in human form, they whispered. But Uzo didn't believe them. He thought they were just jealous of Amaka's beauty. One night, Uzo woke up to a cold chill in the room. He saw Amaka standing by the window, looking out into the night. Her eyes glowed with a strange fire. Uzo felt a shiver run down his spine. He called out to her, but she didn't hear. Instead, she turned and floated towards him. Uzo's heart pounded with fear. Amaka, what are you? He asked. Amaka smiled, but it was not a kind smile. I am not what you think I am, she said. I am a ghost. I came to ruin your life because you were never satisfied. You were always looking for perfection. But there is no such thing as a perfect wife. Uzo's eyes widened with fear. He tried to run, but he couldn't move. Amaka's cold hands touched his face and Uzo felt all his strength leave his body. He fell to the ground, trembling with fear. The next morning, Uzo woke up to find that Amaka was gone. His house was empty and cold. His 24 wives were gone too. Uzo was all alone. He felt a deep sadness in his heart. He realized that his search for perfection had cost him everything. He had lost all his wives and his happiness. As the days went by, Uzo tried to go back to his normal life, but he couldn't shake off the feeling of loneliness and regret. He would wander around his house, looking at empty rooms and thinking about the wives he had lost. The silence in the house was deafening and Uzo felt like he was losing his mind. He started talking to himself, trying to make sense of what had happened. Why did I do this? He would ask himself over and over again. Why wouldn't I just be happy with what I had? Uzo began to avoid people. He didn't want to see the pity in their eyes or hear their gossips. He spent more and more time alone, sitting by the river where he had once seen children playing. He couldn't eat. He couldn't sleep and his strong muscles began to waste away. Uzo's mind was filled with confusion and sorrow and he started to forget things. Simple things like where he had put his shoes or names of the days or even the name of his village. He doesn't remember anything. One day, as Uzo was sitting by the river, a young woman came and sat next to him. She was a stranger, but her presence was comforting. What is troubling you, Uzo? She asked softly. Uzo looked at the woman and sighed. I was searching for a perfect wife, but I ended up losing everything. Uzo said, looking sad. The woman nodded. Perfection is an illusion, she said. True happiness comes from accepting and loving people for who they are, with all their flaws and imperfection. Uzo looked at the woman and felt a sense of peace wash over him. He realized that she was right. He had been so focused on finding the perfect wife 
that he had forgotten to appreciate the women he had married. The woman smiled at Ozo and stood up. Remember Ozo, true happiness comes from love and acceptance, not from the endless search for perfection, she said. With those words, the woman walked away, leaving Uzo alone by the riverbanks. Uzo sat there for a while, thinking about what she had said. He realized that he needed to let go of his quest for perfection and start appreciating the people in his life. He decided to go back to his village and try to make amends with the women he had married. He knew it wouldn't be easy, but he was determined to make this right. He wanted to show them that he had changed and that he was ready to accept them for who they were. Uzo spent the next few weeks traveling to the different villages where his wives had gone. He apologized to each of them and asked for their forgiveness. Some of the women were willing to forgive him, while others were not. But Uzo didn't give up. He kept trying to make amends and show them that he had learned from his mistakes. At the end, the women forgave him, but didn't return to Uzo's village with him. That was how Uzo lived the life of a bachelor even in his old age, because nobody else agreed to marry him. Uzo's village never forgot his story. The elders would tell the tale of Uzo and his 25 wives to the young children, teaching them the importance of love and acceptance. They learned that through happiness comes from appreciating the people in their lives flaws and all, and that the search for perfection can lead to a lonely and empty life. Do you know that African women are known to be very beautiful? Ethiopian women in particular are very charming and gorgeous. If someone has never seen Ethiopian women before, they might be surprised by how beautiful they are. They have smooth chocolate colored skin, soft hair, and pretty faces. Ethiopian women have a special kind of beauty that shines like women from Arabia, Thailand, India, and Native America. Now you know. Thanks for watching Love from the Classic Stories.